Good day, everybody. How are we doing? Today, we are going to talk about a GMAT quant prep problem. Uh, before I get started, I would like to mention that in my YouTube channel, at You Can Do Math, I have solved all kinds of math problems just for you. So do not hesitate anymore. Please subscribe to my channel because then you can get free access to all these problems which we can you can download. So let's get started. The problem statement is a rectangular garden with dimensions 20 feet by 30 feet is surrounded by a rectangular brick pathway of uniform width as shown by the figure. Okay. If the area of the pathway equals the area of the garden, what is the width of the pathway? And there are five options. So we'll start with the unknown. Let X be the width of the pathway. Then the dimensions of the outside rectangle are 30 plus 2x. 30 from the inside rectangle, which is the garden, plus x plus x on both sides. The width of the breakway, so 30 plus 2x. Okay. And 20 plus 2x, because x is the width on the brick, brick pathway on both sides, so 20 plus 2x. Hence, the area of the outside rectangle is 30 plus 2x times 20 plus 2x feet square. Area of the garden is 30 multiplied by 20 is equal to 600 feet square. So area of the pathway is the outside rectangular area minus the inside garden area is 30 plus 2x times 20 plus 2x minus 600. So area of the pathway we will do foil of first time first term outside term inside term and the last term when we will multiply 30 plus 2x with 20 plus 2x so the first term is 30 times 20 is 600 the outside term is 30 times 2x is plus 60x the inside term is plus 2x times 20 is plus 40x plus the last term which is 2x times 2x is 4x square minus 600 because you have to subtract the area of the garden to get the area of the pathway. So area of the pathway is uh, the 600, the two 600, they cancel each other out. So we are left with 4x squared plus 10, uh, plus 100x, 60x plus 40x is 100x. And that is equal to area of the garden as given in the problem statement. So 4x squared plus 100x is equal to 600, or we will subtract 600 from both sides to get 4x squared plus 100x minus 600 equal to zero. Now, all of these coefficients, 400 and 600, have a common factor of four. So we will remove the common factor four to get x squared plus 25x minus 150. That is, we divide the terms of 4x squared plus 100x minus 600 by four and also zero on the other side by four, which will still be zero. And we will get x square because four x square by four is x square. 100 x by four is 25 x and six minus 600 by four is minus 150. So we have a quadratic equation x square plus 25 x minus 150. The two factors of 150 are 30 and five. So if we do x square plus 30 x, minus 5x, we will get 25x. So x squared plus 30x minus 5x plus 150 equal to zero. And then from the first two terms, we take out the common factor x and inside the parenthesis, we have x plus 30. And from the second two terms, we take out the common factor minus five and inside the parenthesis, we will have x plus 30. So the two factors on the left-hand side are x minus three and x plus 30 equal to zero. Since x cannot be negative, that is x cannot be minus 30, only x minus five will be equal to zero. Therefore, add five on both sides and we get x equal to five, which is the width of the pathway, brick pathway. So the correct answer is option C, which is five feet. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate. 
to write me a comment or you can also contact me by WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is at the bottom panel of description, is at the bottom of that panel of description. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button because I'm coming back next time with another interesting GMAT quant problem solved just for you. Take care. Have a nice day.